I'm Marie, and this is the Appleton Museum of Art in Ocala, Florida. Today, we are going to do some more drawing, but you're going to be drawing a person, okay? You're going to be drawing a portrait, which is your heads and sometimes the neck, maybe the upper shoulders area. And what I want to do is first concentrate on learning how to draw an eye, and then a nose, and then a mouth. And then we can put it all together. If you were here Wednesday, we talked about relationships on that eagle with the eye and then right down to the beak and out to the end of the beak. Well, there's a lot of relationships in your face. Your face is symmetrical. If you were to draw a line down the middle of your face, each side of your face is basically the same. You got a nose, a half a nose, and half a nose, half a mouth, half a mouth, eye and an eye and an ear and an ear. So it's really not that hard to put together if you take your time. And really all you need is your pencil, an eraser. I always have a pencil sharpener. Before I start, there's a couple of other things. I'm going to talk to you about the symmetry on your face. And I'm going to then I'm going to show you, because uh, I printed out a picture of myself, and then I will show you exactly what I'm talking about. But very quickly, besides the fact that you have a symmetrical face, the outside corner of your eye lines up with the top of your ear. Your nose, if you pull your finger across, you're going to find where you could poke yourself in the ear. Your mouth, basically you find the bottom of your ear. Inside of your eye, if you were to draw a line straight down, you're going to find the outside edge of your nose. The middle of your eye, where your pupil is, if you were to draw a line, you're going to find the outside corner of your mouth. So this helps you when you start to put together that face, it helps you put all of those features in the correct place. So what I'm going to do is we're going to switch cameras my my face here okay and I'm going to take a ruler and I'm actually going to show you the inside corner of my eye if I draw a line down here there's the outside of my nose the pupil of my eye if I draw a line down here here's the corner of my mouth you don't see my hair but I mean my ear because of my hair but that's where my ear is you know what if you know the placement then you can put all of these features in the correct place when you start to put together that portrait it really it really does help you when we start to do this like if I press my finger down it's about a little bit more than my finger so there it just helps you do a lot of those little that that placement so when you do your portrait you're going to look human <laughs> you're not going to look like a cartoon so right now I am going to move this over just a little bit. And the first thing I want to do is work on an eye. And I'm, I'm going to show you here the inside of your eye. And if you have a mirror, you can look at yourself right now, but the inside corner of your eye and the outside corner of your eye, well, you know what? They're not exactly straight across. They're actually a little bit on the slant. So I have an eye. I sketched these out very, very lightly. And I'm going to show you, let's see, I want to make sure you guys can see. So I have an inside point and I have my outside point. And the shape of an eye is basically, I, I guess I could say like a football. It's an oval. So I'm going to draw a line connecting. Okay, so I've drawn that that top line. I'm basically drawing an oval, but my the outside edge is a little bit higher. In your eye, you have that outside edge. If some of you want to watch, you can draw along with me. But if you just want to watch, because I'm going to draw a few more eyes anyway, and you're going to be drawing with me. Inside that See, I'm going to draw another one because I need to have an eyelid. And inside is your eyeball. And it is a circle, but you don't ever really see a complete circle. And then, of course, you have the pupil because you have the white of your eye. You have the iris, which is the colored part of your eye. And then you have the pupil. Okay, so I'm going to draw that. And it still is going to look a little strange because I have no coloring in the in the iris of the eye. Now I made a very big eyelid. So my eye actually looks a little sleepy here. And that's something if you when you're making pictures and if you are drawing drawing a cartoon, you can make people look really wide open by a very tiny eyelid or very sleepy by making a very large eyelid. So I'm going to do this again. And you I am hoping that you're going to start drawing with me. I've made my two points. I'm making an oval shape. This time, I'm going to make a very small eyelid. So there is the iris. And I'm going to draw. Actually, I'm just going to do a little bit of 
I'm just going to shade this instead of a perfectly round. So as you can see, this one looks kind of sleepy compared to this one. I'm going to do another one. Here is the inside of my eye, outside of my eye. So I'm drawing up and over and down, and then the bottom, down and up. Okay, so I have drawn in the rest of this eye. Now, you may be thinking about eyelashes, and the, the easiest way to put eyelashes is to think about that they are growing out, they're growing out from underneath your, your eyelid. So what I'm going to do to have them show, the, the best way to have them show is to start towards that outside. You're going to do the outside edge, but actually I'm going to start probably like in the middle, and I'm just going to draw, curve them up. On that start at the edge of that eyelid and curve them up. I don't want to do a whole lot here and usually I don't do any on the inside of the eye. I just you know you would mostly do the outside towards the outside edge of your eye. When we start drawing with pencil it's going to be easier because we're going to do some shading in here and it's hard to show that with a pen. If I was going to obviously this eyeball this would be toned down because that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to add a little shading in here. So to tone down that eye. When we start putting this together, there will be some shading on this inside. Remember, this curves. Your eye curves. So remember shading from dark to light. We'll do a little shading on the inside there. Noses are <clears throat> one of the hardest things to do on a face because they stick out. And if you are trying to make that illusion of this nose coming out from your face, okay? So if you look at the nose, you look at your nose and I'm gonna draw it right on my paper. My nose actually has, the tip of my nose has a little curve. I'm gonna draw this on my nose. So so it curves up, but then it curves down on either side from my nostrils, where you're breathing. Then the outside of your nostril is just another curve up for the outside edge of your nostril. And then I don't draw this, the, the bone in your nose. You know, if you draw two lines, sometimes I just think it looks a little strange. So a lot of times I will just draw one line, one side of the nose, because I can always put some shading in. And you, you're going to find that out, that line for the bone in your nose almost curves right into your eyebrow. You're going to curve up. Okay. And then you're going to curve down. And then you're going to put curves on the side for the outside edge of your nose. And then I just put a little bit of a, a line up here for the bone on your nose. Now this curve can be, I'm going to do it differently here. I'm just going to put a little straight line and I'm going to do more of a slant up. So it almost looks like a stretched out V and then a little bit of a curve or even like an upside down V. Everybody's nose is different. So, you know, the tip of your nose, every, I mean, everybody's nose is different. Some might have this part of your nose very thin. Some people have a very wide nose. And then I'm gonna put the sides in again and the bone for the, that line for the bone in your nose. I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna do just a tiny, tiny curve, but I'm gonna make this wider because sometimes that those nostrils are wider and this curve curve for your nose and then a line up that would go up towards your your eyebrow you can do a little shading but you know what be careful you do not want this to look like a big pig nose with big round nostrils we do not have big round nostrils shaded in we don't have that you have those where that little curve is for your nostril. You just do a little bit of shading in there, just a tiny bit, because you want to give the illusion that your nose is open and you are breathing. So it's just a tiny bit of shading. Just a little bit. 
just to give the idea that my nose is open. <clears throat> the nose is the hardest part because it's coming out um, from the face. And when you get a little more advanced, see, I'm going to come back to my picture here. See, there's, there's the top of that nose is actually, now I'm going to look really funny. There is a roundness to your nose. <laughs> that looks kind of funny on the screen. And this is the top part here. And see, this is underneath. That's what we just drew, that underneath part of your nose. And this is the top of your nose. There is, it's like a circle. But you know what? I'm Right now, I'm not going to get into any of the, that top circle because it's just going to be a little bit harder. So we're basically just going to go with this a smiley face or a V and those curves and a curve, and then the side curve for your nose. Now you need to think about your mouth, all right? Your mouth, and usually you almost see like an M. Let's get rid of that, yeah. It's almost like an M, and you stretched it out. So you know how you, you would make an M up and down and up and down? And this, you're gonna stretch that out, and then you're gonna pull it out to the corner of your mouth. All right, I'm gonna go back here. And I've got a little bit of a smile here. So when I did that, that stretched M in here, I pulled that line way out to the corner of my mouth. And you can make that line go up a little bit if you wanna be smiling. I'm, I'm just working on the upper lip right now. On your upper lip, underneath that, that little M shape, you have a little piece of skin, that little round area of skin that sometimes you might bite on. So that's like another little smiley face, little curve up. And then again, bring that line out to the corner of your mouth. So I have this little curve and I'm pulling it out to the corner of my mouth straight down for the bottom lip. Your bottom lip a lot of times, especially when your mouth is closed, it appears larger. So underneath that little curve, that little piece of skin that we were biting on, I make a straight line, just a small straight line. And then I'm gonna curve that up into the corner of my mouth. I'm gonna go over to my paper and I'm gonna do this. So I make an M, an M shape and bring it out to the corner and you wanna keep practicing this. So I'm bringing it out to the corner of my mouth. I'm doing that little curve underneath and out to the corner of my mouth. Straight down, I wanna put a little bit of a straight line up to the corner of my mouth, up to the corner of my mouth. And I can do it again. I'm gonna make this stretched out M. I'm gonna curve this up a little bit because I wanna make it look like I'm smiling. Little curve up to the corner of my mouth. Now, what if you want to make your mouth open a little bit? Well, underneath that little curve, instead of putting the actual bottom of your lip, skip a little space and put another line up. But then I'm gonna come down here and put that straight edge. So now my mouth has four lines instead of three. And I absolutely you know, could show teeth in here if I wanted to. Or if I just wanted my mouth to look open. So right now that mouth does look a little open because I've colored in that, I've colored in dark because no light gets inside. So it would just, it would just be a dark area. Let's do this just one more time. So I'm gonna do an M. And some people, you know, when you look at your mouth, I did that, but some people also have very pointed upper lip. Everybody is different. Some people have very large lips, but it's still, it's on the same idea. It goes, goes up and down and then out to the corner. And then you put that little curve and then up, straight line. And it may be that your upper lip is larger than your lower lip. Everybody's face is different. That's why it is fun to you know, take a look at yourself in a mirror and actually look at the shape of your own nose and your own mouth. I'm just showing you basic, how to draw basic eye. 
and a nose and a mouth. Shall we move on to the whole face? You, you can't really separate your face from your whole head. Let's put it that way. Your face is, is part of your whole head. You have to think of the entire, from my chin to my forehead, but I have to include the top of my head because that's where my hair grows. That is part of this whole thing. So if I'm going to draw a shape for my head to do a portrait, I'm drawing a very large oval because I need to include my chin, my whole face, my forehead and the top of my head where my hair grows because then you're going to start dividing this up okay I need there's my forehead your eyes believe it or not your eyes are in that middle of that oval and I know this is going to get really messy so I am going to move on to another piece of paper I'm going to leave that there I'm going to do this in pen first and then I will I uh, will start with pencil but let's just say and I'm going to draw this very small at first and my oval I'm going to say is actually more like an egg shape with the smaller end because I know this I want this to be my chin so you can see this I'm going to draw a line straight down the middle so my face is symmetrical you would sometimes Sometimes people think, okay, my eyes are way up here and then my nose. Actually, no. When you start, this is your entire head, including your hair. So right about the middle of this is where your eyes are. And this is where I usually start. Once I get placement, then I start with my eyes because this, I'm going to just do this very quickly. Let's say, here's your eye. Here's your eye. About halfway down between this line and your chin, about halfway. There's your nose, a little bit under your nose, because there's not that much space between your nose and your mouth. Sometimes it might be a finger or two. So I'm going to say my mouth is probably right in here. And this might be kind of long for my chin. From that middle part, that middle line here to the top of your head, let's go about halfway. This is actually your hairline. This up here is your forehead. And see, I would draw, this would be your hair. That's your hairline. Does start at the top of your forehead. With this one, I'm showing a lot of the top of my head. But like, look at this picture. Here is my forehead. There's the line from my forehead. I don't have a lot of hair showing in this. I have little curly hair, so I'm just gonna do some little squiggles. There's not that much showing for the top for my hair. Some people have a very large forehead and some people do not. Everybody's different. You're trying to make this look like you, you're gonna to have to do a lot of practicing and you have to use a mirror. Right now, I'm not trying to make this look like necessarily like you, okay? What I'm trying to do is have you put together a basic face and get the features of the face in the correct spaces. Because once you understand that, then you can start working on making them more personalized and making them look a lot more like you. So I am going to start working in pencil. I am going to start an oval and I'm sorry if you cannot see this right now. I will darken it in a minute, but I am drawing an oval with more of a a smaller end to it, like the, for the chin. Remember I said like a, an egg, so with the, the pointy end down for the chin. All right, I'm going to draw this darker so you can see it now. I think that's, you can kind of, and I can still erase this. So there's my chin. And it may not be the most perfect oval. Remember, I have an eraser and I'm going to use my eraser. So I'm looking at my face. I want to figure about halfway. And you know what? I'm not going to measure this. I'm just going to kind of eyeball this. So about halfway, you want to make a line. This is where my eyes are going to be. I'm also, don't forget, I want to divide this. I'm going to go top to bottom and I'm going to make another line top to bottom. So my nose is going to be on this line. I think I can already tell I have too much to the top of my head, but that's okay. I can fix that later. I got those lines in there. Let's put the eyes. If this is the middle of my face. I'm going to move a little bit to the right and put a dot and a little bit to the left and put a dot. So this is these two dots. That's the space between my eyes. Okay? You don't want to put too much. Mine is a little bit more than a finger. When I look at my picture, mine is a little bit more than my finger. So I might 
might just move that over just a little bit. I'm going to take that first dot out. This is the inside corner of my eye, those two dots. I want to do the outside edge of my eye. It is like an oval, but remember your outside edge is a little bit higher than the inside edge. So instead of putting the dot right on that line, I'm just going to move that up a little. And you know what? Maybe just one finger. All right. And I'm going to put a little dot. And if you want to see if those the outside edge lines up, sometimes you can use your pencil. And I can see that this dot is a little bit too high. I'll move that down a little bit. And those two line up. So inside, I'm going to go up and down and then down and up, up and down, down and up. If they don't look exactly the same, you just kind of just kind of keep working on them a little bit. This is a hard thing too. There's my my line. I can see this space. I want to make I had to make this a little bit different to match up. Let's make that eyelid. And I know this is a little dark in here. So I'm going to go start at that inside. I'm going to make my eyes pretty open. So I'm very I'm making just a really skinny eyelid. So I'm up and down again. Now up and down. And I'm going to draw that a little bit thicker because I'm going to also give the illusion that's where my eyelashes are. Let's put that eyeball in there. So you're drawing a curve and a curve and a curve and a curve. This is the iris of your eye. And right now I'm going to just very lightly shade that in with my pencil just very, very lightly. We can always go back and darken this up, but it's easier to darken than it is to take it out later if it's too dark. I'm just gonna do mine in plain pencil. Now, where I'm gonna put the iris, I don't like to draw a perfect circle for that iris because I just think it looks kind of funny. For the pupil, I just do a little darker shading and keep it to an area so it resembles a circle but I don't want to draw a dark black circle. I like to just do a little shading back and forth, back and forth. I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger to match the other one. But I don't like to draw a perfect circle for the iris. I just don't like the way it looks. So I just do a little bit of a shading there. I am going to kind of bring this, this line in just a little bit for the inside edge of my eye. I'm not going to put the eyelashes in right now either. We just want to get these features in. Remember the inside corner of your eye, outside edge of your nose, from your the line of your eye down to your chin, about halfway or maybe a little bit longer. I like a little bit longer. I'm going to put a line here. I want this is where I'm going to put my nose and I'm going to line it up see with the inside edge of my nose. I'm going to draw a very light line down here. I'll draw that darker so you can see it. So from the inside edge of my nose and here's the bottom edge of my nose. So let's do that nose. Okay, remember you wanna curve up or like a V shape. So on this line, I'm going to start in the middle and I'm gonna put that curve up and I'm gonna curve it down. I'm gonna curve this down to that line. So I'm kind of coming up and curving down this kind of looks like an M also, doesn't it? It actually does look like an up and down and up and down. It again, looks a little bit like an M and I would recommend you do this. I'm gonna erase those outside lines now because I don't need those. And now I am gonna put that curve on my nose. There's my nose and I'm gonna get rid of that straight line that right now is running through my nostrils. Let's do a little bit of shading. So it looks like my nostrils are open. From the outside edge here, you know, just move your pencil up just a little bit and you can make a line up to maybe the inside edge of your eye. I think that's all you need right now. So just a very simple curve or a straight line, you know, but I would stop about the inside edge of your eye. Okay, a mouth. And right now, I am going to sharpen my pencil. I like to draw with a sharper pencil because I can get a nice crisp line. And then when the pencil dulls down, it's perfect 
for um, shading right underneath my nose on that line. That's the middle of my mouth. I don't want my mouth down here. You do not have a big space between your nose and your mouth. So it's like a finger. So right here, I am going to make that M. So it's right in the middle. Do you remember where your mouth ends, corner of your mouth? It ends in the middle of your pupil. So if this is my pupil here, if I bring a line down, my mouth actually ends out here. And if you've made your eyes really wide, then you're gonna have a really big mouth. So mine ends here, I'm gonna come up, down, up, down, out to my mouth. Put that little piece of skin in there and out to the corners of my mouth. Mine is a little uneven here, but that's okay. Right underneath, straight line. And then up to the corner of your mouth. I really have too much to the top of my head, I can tell. That's really big. And this is why you draw in pencil, because I'm also looking, there's an awful lot of space from the corners of my eyes to the outside edge of my face here. So we're gonna have to work on that a little too. So right underneath here, this is where I just put a tiny little line. This is for that beginning of your chin, you know, where we can hold on to your chin. There's just that little tiny line there. I'm gonna get rid of all of those lines that I don't need. And again, this is why you draw very, very lightly so you can go back and get rid of all of those lines. Your jaw comes way out. It actually goes out to your, your ears. And there is, is where your neck is going to be. Your neck doesn't just come down from your chin because now you look like a lollipop. We get rid of that. So I'm looking like my jaw would probably, I'm going to say, let's go with the corners of your mouth. And I'm going to put a, a mark here. And I'm going to come across here and I'm going to put a mark here. And your neck curves. Your neck curves. So from this dot, I'm going to come down and I'm going to curve my neck out. And I'm going to come down and curve my neck out. And I may end up changing this a little because I have a really wide face here. Let's go back up around the eyes. Your eyebrow kind of follows that curve like in your eye. And when I draw an eyebrow, I just do up and down lines because you know what? Your eyebrow, it's hair. So it starts really from the inside of your eye and it's usually a little bit thicker. And as it turns, it gets thinner towards the outside edge of your eye. So again, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna start and I'm just gonna do some, some lines, like the little, just little hairs. And this is my eyebrow. And you can always go back and darken that up or lighten it up or whatever you wanna do. I am going to erase a little bit of the sides here. Cause I think I made that face too wide or actually I made, when I drew my eyes, my eyes are smaller than maybe the, the shape of my face. So I'm gonna go back and redo and I'm gonna pull that in that outside edge of my face. I'm gonna pull that in a little bit. So I'm making this face thinner now. And I'm gonna get rid of that line because I had way, and I actually, I'm gonna to have to change that neck a little bit. I put too much face on the outside of that face. But I'm still gonna keep that top of the head because I do need space for my hair. Eyebrows skip a space looking at mine i get about three fingers from my eyebrows my hairline is probably like right there when you start to draw your hair depending on your hairstyle remember your hair they're lines that's all they are they're all these lines and you want to draw them in the direction that your hair is growing so i know my hairline is right here and i have kind of curly hair that just kind of goes all over the place but i know my hair grows up and then curls if you have bangs that come down on your forehead you're going to draw those lines down because that's the direction that your hair, I'm going to do that a little darker. 
That's the direction that your hair grows. If you're not making this look like you or even a little bit like you, it doesn't make any difference what kind of hair you put on here. I'm gonna go back and lighten this up because I'm gonna draw all these hair lines in here. So I'm just gonna erase that top a little bit. And now you wanna put, you wanna put that hair. And like I said, I have all kinds of curly things. I'm going to, let me draw this a little darker. I'm gonna start drawing all these little curly things. And this is, and I'm just gonna keep going back. And I have little, actually little curly cues, like all over the, the top of my head. You know, some of this hair comes over my face. You know, you wanna bring your, the hair out. Remember what you did here, that oval is your skull. Your hair comes out much further. And I'm just gonna draw some crazy little curly cues here because my, my hair does that. Very lightly inside corner of your eye, you are going to shade on your eyelid and not quite up to your eyebrow, but just a little close to the eyebrow. Just a little shading and then fade it out as you get towards the edge of your eye because you get a shadow in here because your nose sticks out and it causes that shadow. Sometimes some artists will put a little shading down the side of the nose because your nose does stick out and there would be a shadow on the side. If you want to try it, you can put a shadow very lightly, just up and down lines on the other side of your nose. I'm gonna do it darker so you can see, but if I did dark lines like the side of my nose, I'm just slanting lines down. This becomes the part of my nose that is, is sticking out from my face. I don't usually do this. I, I'm gonna take this side out. I only shade usually on one side of the nose if I'm doing a portrait. I just don't like the way that looks, but that's a personal preference. I'm gonna do a little shading on this eye. So I'm gonna start out here. I'm just doing up and down lines very lightly. I'm gonna go over that eyelid a little bit and I'm gonna come back. If you wanna do a little cross hatching, you can. Let's put an ear in here, this spot right here. The top of your ear lines up with that outside edge of your face. So if you go draw a light line over here, there's the top of my ear. Go down by your nostril. And if you come across, you are going to find the bottom of your ear. Your ear fits in between your eye and your nose. This is where my ear starts. So actually, I'm going to come up and around. I'm gonna start at that dot, but I'm gonna go up a little bit and around. And then it kind of curves in a little bit and then out and up where that other line is. This is very simplified ear. And this, this curve down here, that's, I mean, that's your earlobe. And that's another thing. Some people have very large earlobes, some people don't, but this is basically up around in and out and up and in. This part right here is your earlobe. I'm just gonna do a little shading to make it look like that little crinkle in your ear. This is a very simplified ear, obviously, but it will give you the illusion of an ear. The main thing is your ear fits between your eye and your nose. That's where you're basically where your ear is. My hair is now curving around my ear and back into my face. I'm gonna put that nose piece in first. So I know this is this is the part that goes over my nose. I know I, I need to have that. And that's the structure of my glasses. When you look at the shape of your glasses, I mean, they were kind of like a rectangle. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna start by just doing very light lines around my eye. And I'm gonna, those have a straight line at the end, don't they? Mine may not exactly look like yours, but I know it has from that middle piece, it has to come up around your eye. Okay, I'm gonna darken this up. Down, around your eye. Okay, so I'm, and I'm gonna thicken up this line, obviously, because this is the frame. It has to, and I would really thicken this up and darken it because it's not soft skin like your face, it is hard. So I wanna make that look like it is solid. 
because your hair is here, see, I only have a tiny space between the edge of my face here, my ear. So basically, I am just going to draw a slanted line back here. You want to use a little bit of perspective. It would be wider where it attaches to the glasses. It's going back into the distance because it's going around your ear. So you want it, you want it to get skinnier. Let's say if this is the edge of your glass. So I'm doing, I'm almost like drawing a triangle. I've got very little of the side of my glasses showing because there's a side of my face. My ear is here. It's going behind my ear and I've got hair here also. So the side of your glasses, you really don't see much of that. If you're concerned about getting these lined up, if you have a ruler or if you don't have a ruler, you can use your finger or Sometimes I will use my pencil. So I know it's lined up along that pencil line, uh, come across here. Very lightly, I would put that in. And again, or just hold your pencil and just kind of drag it across. So you know where that, that top edge is. And do this one very lightly. So you can make sure that it's starting to match. And then when you get it the way you like it, then I would go back and I would darken that up. I think I can darken some of this up now. This little bit, I'm gonna shade this in. Now I can see this is too far out because look at, this is very close here. So I know I need to change this. Again, you're looking at relationship, the outside edge of the eye to the glasses, there's not much space there. Mine was way too big. So maybe mine is like in here. And I think I made that too. Maybe like this is better. What I am going to talk about is because your face is round, this part of your face, like your nose is what sticks out the most and it does turn and it goes around. So the side of your face, if you up around maybe where your cheekbone is to up around the, your eye, if you wanted to put some shading in there, you can. But I'll tell you right now, sometimes it's very easy to lose control of that, that shading and you may not like it because from what I can see right now on, on the screen, it looks like my face is growing a beard. Then I'm going to get rid of my beard. You know, just like we talked about your face being round. Yes, your neck is round and we can do some shading. I'm going to work on just one side, but if this is my chin and this is my neck, because your chin, your head sticks out, it does cause a shadow. And remember when we did dark to light to make that cylinder round, I'm just going to do a little shading on the side of my neck. And I'm going to go from dark to medium to light towards my chin. And I'm going to do cross hatching. And I'm using my pencil in a rounded motion just to get that illusion of roundness. Because you're working on a flat paper and you want to give that roundness. Okay, I'm going to make this a little bit darker back here in the corner because my chin is back way back here, my jaw and my hair is also going to be partially causing a shadow. If you want to, you can do that on the other side as well. Because remember that tube that we did, you went from dark to medium to light to medium to dark. Well, you know what? Your neck is kind of like that. You could say it's like a tube. And I'm going to make little curves, just curve. I'm not going to come out as much as on this side, but I am going to do this little cross hatching, a little bit darker back here. Again, it's going underneath my hair and it's way back by my jaw. I'm going to cross hatch and I'm going to go from dark to medium. I'm going to slow down here because I want light. I don't want to get into too much shading on the face here. Well, I'm going to go along the, the edge of my hair and I'm going to do a little shading. I'm going to shade over my ear a little bit, but I'm going to do a little shading. I'm just going in and out and in and out. I'm doing this right along the edge of my hair. And I'm going to do this here just a little bit. Now, this is perfect for me because I have white hair, just like the eagle had white feathers, but it really doesn't make any difference what color your hair is. Your hair is going to cause a shadow on your face. 
where these glasses are, that is the side of my face. So I could actually do some shading in there. If you want to shade in like a wrinkle, what is a wrinkle? It's just a line. If it's a line, it's like a dip in the skin. What if I just drew a very light line and then I did some shading where that wrinkle is? What I would like to show you right now, if you can grab another piece of paper, I want to show you how to do an eye and a nose and a mouth if you were doing a profile. And this is, this is easy. A profile, the side view of your face. Think of the top of your head. I'm Okay, top of your forehead. I'm going to put a dot right here. Top of the forehead. A curved line down for the top of your forehead. Don't worry about the back of your head right now. Curve in and out for your nose. Curve in for the nose. This is a very simplified. Don't forget your nostril. Little curve at the end here. If you want to show the inside edge of your nostril, you can, when you curve this in, come down and curve that around and then connect this. About the middle of your nose or actually a little bit closer to your nostril, come down very slight, just come down very slight curve. And I'm gonna do like a little bump here. This is my lip. Well, you know what? Let's just do the upper lips. This is a curve. I'm gonna have you come in and you're almost drawing a triangle here. Let's just do that. Very simplified mouth, triangle. You're gonna draw that curve here. That's that little bump of skin. Pull that back into the corner. I'm gonna come up and this mouth is open as you can see. I'm gonna come up, curve it up just a little bit and bring it up. If you wanna draw a mouth that's closed, it would basically just be a curve and in and then a curve down. Go about halfway back on that mouth, curve out. And this is your chin, just kind of curve out around. This is your jawline. You're curved out around your chin and back up. And I just made a huge jaw. Let's get rid of that huge jaw. Curved out and around and just back up. Don't go too far back, just a little bit. Guys, right here, draw a line up. This is where your ear is, the end of your jaw. That's where your ear, now just hold on. This is your forehead. Right here is your, your hairline. You're going to come up. Your head does not go flat. Your head is higher. Your skull, let's say, is higher in the back. It's going to come up. Remember, this is your ear. You have to do the back of your head. There is equal distance. Ear to the front, ear to the back. Come up and around. And I'm going to bring this You know, this, the back of your head is going to come into your neck and the front of your neck is out here someplace. I'm going to show you an eye real quick. Remember we talked, this is a triangle for the mouth. I'm going to do this down here. You're going to do a triangle for an eye. An eye from the side is also a triangle. I'm going to make a double line here, eyelid and a curve. This is your eyeball inside that triangle. You don't want to connect the, the curve of your eyeball to the outside of the triangle because your eye is inside. The iris of your eye, it's not round anymore because you're looking at that from the side. You want to make that more like an oval shape. The pupil is at the front of this. Now this is very simplified, but you know what? This is where, and out from underneath is where I would put eyelashes. And I can put some from the back here too. I can put some from the front, but they come out from underneath. I'm gonna put this eye in here. Your eye is where your nose curves in, your forehead, where that curves in, that is where your eye, and make sure you don't connect your eyeball to the edge of your face. Remember, we measured, I used a finger to see how far in. I'm gonna just use this, my nose. My eye is probably in here. I would have to look and, and actually work out the measurements, but there is a triangle in here. And I see, I would have to make this head much bigger, but I just very quickly wanted to show you an eye from the side is like a triangle. A mouth from the side is like a triangle. You could say the nose is like a big triangle. And if this is your forehead, remember your hair, you know, whichever way your hair grows, I would put an eyebrow in here. My ear would be someplace in here. 
if I was going to draw an ear, it's someplace in between my nose and my eye, but you don't want to put it too close, you know, move it back so it's on the side of your head. So here's your ear someplace back in here. So this is just like a quick, and I'm going to just draw some hair in here, just to show you. And hair is super easy to do because it is all lines. And I'm gonna draw some hair. There you go. But you know what? Today, you guys did fabulous portraits. You really, really did. And we love you all for coming. So have a good one.